I actually don't have any footage for you today. Um, I forgot to film. <laughs> Not that it matters. I think you guys get the gist that I get up between half past seven and eight o'clock on a school day. Um, but I forgot to film that this morning. Oh, I was absolutely exhausted when I woke up this morning. Um, again, open the bedroom door. No cat. She deserted me to go and sleep downstairs with Elphis. Um, I think it's the rug. I don't think she's interested in the elf. I think it's the rug that they did that the elf is sat on. Um, but yeah, so didn't get any footage today really of anything because went to Taylor's school Christmas fair this morning. As I said last night, can't film that day to protection because it's children. Um, but we were <laughs> we were literally in and out in eleven minutes. 11 minutes we got there at 5 to 10 started at half past 9 till 11 we got there at half past 10 and by 7 minutes past 10 we were out getting ready to get in the car and go home it was crazy <laughs> um, yeah we went in and it was absolutely chock-a-block manic because they do it all in the main hall the main school hall so all the kids are there with the stalls and everything and the teachers and then all the parents and it would just chuck a block, couldn't move. Taylor spotted him right at the back end in the corner, proper freaking out. Um, he were all right, he weren't having a meltdown or anything, but I could see it like eyes are like, mm. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. Too noisy, too crowded, way too much stimulation for him. Yeah, he didn't like it one bit. Um, but he wanted us to go, so we went, gave him his spending money while we were there for him to wander around and play the games and get some drink. And uh, I think he bought himself a brew, actually. Um, get himself a drink and some cakes and stuff. Um, but yeah, but then he, he was like, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. I said, right, I said, well, are you going to be upset if we go? He's like, oh, well, I don't know, it's up to you, it's, it's your decision. I said, well, I'm asking you now, if me and Nana go, are you going to be upset? He's like, no, no, I'm not, because I'm going back over there, and then as soon as Sir lets me, I'm going back to class, can't, don't like it. And he's like, it's weird, I'm over his, I don't like it, don't like it. I said, right, give him his money. He gave me a hug, give me a kiss on cheek. I said, right, I'll see you later, buddy. He went and did whatever he was doing toddled off with I think he had a cupcake in his hand or something anyway he toddled off with whatever he got and me and mum left me and mum left so <laughs> yeah he weren't he didn't like that one bit but anyway um pardon me he came home from school bless him he came home from school with a giant galaxy bar um chocolate galaxy bar and he's like I won I won this in the raffle for you mum or on one of the stalls Pardon me, I think it was chocolate tomball or stall or something. And he's like, I won this for you, Mum. I'm like, oh, thank you, buddy. Um, and we've split it. We've split it in half and shared it between us. <laughs> but, yeah. And then, <clears throat> um, my myself and Mum went to the school Christmas market at the school across the road from us, which I said I was going to get some footage of. I actually possibly could have got some footage, but I didn't. Because from the sound of the the sounding of the flyer that we got through the door, it sounded like it was just they were just using the school as a venue. But it actually turned out to be the school that was doing it, and it's all right. It's a high school. Um, the majority of the stalls were run by the teachers. There, there were school kids around in uniforms helping out and stuff like that. Like the kids were in the kitchen side doing. Oh, it smelled awesome. They were making um, stew and all sorts of stuff and fresh donuts and God knows what else. It, was, it smelled amazing. I think it were I think it was potato pie they were making, but it smelled really good. Except we'd already had tea before we went across. Um, but yeah, it were really good fun. It's, I probably could have got. I I did ask before we went in, and the woman that we spoke to said she wasn't quite sure, but go and ask one of the other teachers. It was just like the main teacher, one of the teachers that were organising it, but I was just like, do you know what, we'll not bother. Um, probably would have been okay, but I thought, do you know, it's not the end of the world. However, um, yeah, I didn't get any footage, obviously, whilst we were there, but I got some stuff. 
so I'm going to share it with you. Oh, before I do that, back filming on the Xperia, I'll tell you I've got about 30 forms going on here. This is the Nexus 6P um, that I am using as a phone and at the moment in time it is on 63% but the other day it decided to uh, get to 5% and that were it, it wouldn't charge, it didn't do anything. It, when I took it off charge it didn't drain, when I put it on charge it didn't charge either and it's been a bit temperamental. The Nexus 6Ps do have a um, quite notorious for having a um, random battery drainage fault it's a manufacturer's fault but the other day I turned around to the side mom when it did it on Wednesday actually and I'm like I can't cope with this I need a phone that works as a phone I need a reliable phone this one the Xperia my sim card won't work in it don't ask it's unlocked everything's fine but my SIM card won't work in it. I don't get a signal whatsoever. I don't get an internet signal or anything. Works fine on the Wi-Fi. Works fine as a, a camera and everything else, apart from the focusing and it's doing that annoying zoom in, zoom out thing. I can do. I can see it, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, don't work as a phone. So really frustrating. Hence why I got this. But then this is being temperamental. So I turned around and said, you know what? Stuff it. I bit the bullet and I used some pennies that I actually managed to save buying Christmas presents. I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to do this year. So I trekked myself to a brand new one from the Carform Warehouse. I thought, well, you know, if it goes belly up, at least I can take this one back and sort it out. So I, I bought this with, like I said, leftover Christmas money that I didn't spend. Um, but this is actually my Christmas present from Thaub Man. Yay. So, he doesn't know it yet, but it is. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, so, and I'm well chuffed because it's still a Google phone. It's that, it's that weird thing, the name, I cannot pronounce. <laughs> we have fun over this here in this house. It's, um, oh my God, what is it? A Huawei or something? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Uh, but yeah, it's one of them guys, one of them. And actually, I keep saying that this is the Google Nexus 6P, which it is, but this is actually one of them phones as well. When you look at it, when you look it up, it doesn't come under Google, it comes under that. But they're really good phones, I love them. Google phones, I love my Google phones. As you can tell, I've had about 20 of them. <clears throat> but yes, so this was bought brand new, and I know it's a good phone, I know exactly what it's like, because my mum got one the other week on contract. This isn't on contract, this is phone only, SIM free because I have a SIM contract. But yes, so I got this one and of course, take this off, I got the beautiful blue one. Oh, you're getting a nice <laughs> mirror image of my bathroom. Um, but yes, I got the beautiful blue one. It came in three different colours and I went for blue. Um, and these came separate, I got these on Amazon, but I ordered two phone cases for it, a nice galaxy themed one and a beautiful floral one, which I'm going to use, now I'm going to put this floral one on. Um, but yeah, so, oh I love it. And I'm quite pleased actually, I didn't realise when I bought this phone case that it's see through, the phone case is actually clear. <laughs> um, it's a clear silicone with the design on it, but it's clear silicone, so you can see the colour of the form through it, which is awesome, even better. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet. Let's get that off. One second. Let's get rid of all the notifications. I forgot it would have been doing updates in the background. Get off. Yeah, I haven't actually really done anything with it yet. Um, oh, that's going to take a bit of getting used to. Slightly different menus. Right, stop it. Stop showing me one camera. No, do not disturb. That's the one. Okay. 
yep so i haven't really done anything with it yet um the fingerprint id set up i have customized my home screen to exactly where i like things including my christmas countdown which has a funky moving christmas tree on there um but i've been busy today look how many steps i've done <laughs> but yeah so this is set out exactly the same as what this one is because exactly the same as what I love about these smartphones just everything's in the same place I'm, I'm very anal <laughs> and I like having everything in folders not just thousands of screens I like everything on one screen and everything in folders where I can find them and get to them and yeah so it's set up that way the only thing I can get in and use up to now is my um, Pokemon Go game. Everything else I can't get in because I only need passwords, usernames and passwords and stuff. And I can't remember. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically lock me into those, so I will have to sort that out. Um, but yes, so I have a brand new phone. Um, so we'll probably be recording on this tomorrow. We will see. We need to give it a go and see. So, but yeah, so that's that. And let's get back to tonight and the um, school Christmas market thing. Brain's gone. Yeah, brain's gone. So, there were oh, a couple of tombola stalls and stuff like that. I won a penguin. in it cute? <clears throat> so we won a penguin, we won a cuddly teddy bear, so cute, uh, we won a troll, <laughs> that'd be alright for grandbabies, and then <laughs> I had to treat myself, let's get this right, Oops. Sorry guys, had to take a break. Now both needed a pee. Sort of thing when you're filming in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But then I had to treat myself and I got these handmade bath bombs, coconut oil and acai berry. Acai, okay, whatever. That. Oh, right, show you right way around. Yes. They smell nice actually. Um, they were only 25p each as well. And then we got these. Oh no, that was separate. Where's it from? Oh, there it is. We've got these. Handmade. They smell really good. Obviously, I'm not going to eat them. Handmade mint dog biscuits. And then we got um, just some dog biscuits in a corn for Tia. Um, and then, look at this. Actually, I'm going to save that till last because it's just really cute. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then we found a stall that was selling things for charity. So, of course, we bought this. I like this. Rose Orange Incense Set, which is nice. It's got some incense sticks in it, some smelly candles. And it does smell really nice. And I got a bath bomb, which is actually a Wilco's one. Um, Candied Cranberry Fragrance Explosion bath bomb from Wilkinson's cool smells really nice and then I found the box I found books guys look at this this is a gardener's diary I thought they were going to be um, like 
not floral stuff obviously um but i thought it was going to be more like a reference type book with like different plants and stuff in but it's not it is actually a diary book how cool is that so of course you guys know they're going to be getting put into the junk journals oh and we bought a cute little book for coffee bean um i couldn't resist this when i found it could not resist this when i found it it's all intact it's brand new all intact brand new never been used this is exactly the same exactly the same as one of the journals that i bought and pulled apart and made um one of the junk journals that i pulled apart and made and these this block of paper here it's like a ivory color like an ivory cardstock uh, not cardstock ivory paper and this is what i've used in previous videos in my tutorials when i were making book pages I use these book page pockets and stuff. I use that, but yeah, I love this. But this is a really this makes a really good cover, and of course, it's got butterflies on it. Makes a really good cover. So <clears throat> I can make another journal, and I've got loads of paper. Awesome. Don't have to tea dye it or coffee dye it because it's already done. Then I found this. How cool is this? It's the Gentleman's Emporium 2013. Gentleman's Emporium and it's a memo block. And look at this. <clears throat> I know that lighting is not perfect, but there's all them pages. And like I said, it's a memo pad and it's got that on each page. How cool is that? So it's pretty much like all pretty uh, ready-made design paper, really. But it's that on every page, and there's tons of it. So that'd be really nice tea dye. And then, and then, oh, last but not least, <coughs> from that stall, anyway, I found this. No date on it. Oh, yes, there is. 2007. Um, seven, what do we know? Eight, nine, 12-year-old. Um, there's nothing in it, because obviously it's been ripped out. Somebody's used it. It's been ripped out. But look at this, guys. A book full of... Oh, I can't get in here. I forgot I can't zoom. Let me come to you. It's a book full of ledger paper. So it's obviously a bookkeeping book. And it is ledger paper. Yay! So I know it's new ish. Like I said, it's from 2007 is this book. So that's like 12 years ago. Nearly vintage. Um, but it'd be vintage by the time I get around to using it. Vintage is anything from 15 year onwards, apparently. Um, but yeah, but obviously it's all plain and what have been, none of it's been written in. No dates or anything like that on it. But that is going to look so cool when it's tea or coffee dyed. And there's quite a chunk of it too. There's quite a lot of it in there. So, hey, I'm well pleased with that. And I like the book as well, the actual cover. The actual cover as well is a good one. So, excuse me. Sorry guys, coffee is repeating on me. But yeah, really, really impressed with that. So that's that. And then, last but not least, from a different stall, actually the very first stall we went to, and then went back to at the end. This is just so cute. Little brown paper bag as well, which is cool because I can use that. <coughs> Look at this. Handmade bow. How cute is that? Little penguin, and it's on a little clippy, which is awesome. I will be wearing that on Christmas Day. I might even wear it in some videos. But yeah, so a nice, cool, handmade little little handmade bow. So cute, so cute. I better hide it from grandbabies. 
they'll be after pinching that the girls will be pinching that and then this look at this how cute is this a cute little doggy and look look at this she the woman that was helping out on the stall actually crocheted it a little jacket how cool is that and she's just put its tail through but yeah she's been pretty much crocheted a granny square and then <laughs> tied it around it like a little jacket but how cute is that I couldn't resist it and it's a cute little doggy called Benji I could not resist it when I saw it I'm like oh my gosh and of course turquoise greeny turquoise I'm having that it's too cute not to so yeah it's so fluffy it's so fluffy anywho so that pretty much concludes everything that was purchased from the school fair um, yeah so I'll be using this tonight or I might, no actually, I might use one of these homemade ones. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Um, that about wraps that up. Like I said, I'm really sorry today's vlogmas is a pretty boring one. It's just me nagging at you. Um, but yeah, tomorrow should be a little bit more interesting. Someone's coming and going. Um, yeah, tomorrow should be a little bit more interesting because I need to go into town with Taylor. He needs some new school shoes, he needs a winter coat, and he wants to do some Christmas shopping. Um, and before I do go, let's get on with Advent because I am going to go now. Um, but yeah, so let's get on with Advent, which is here. And today we are on day six. six. I'm losing my voice. Um, where even is it? Can't find it, guys. There it is. <laughs> so, the trouble looking at it from up here, Francie. Okay, so today we're on day six. And oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Have we got another? We've got another bar of soap. Yes. Cucumber, lime, and jasmine bath soap. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, cucumber, lime, and jasmine. That bath soap, it's the same as the um, body lotion. Same scent as the body lotion that I got. It's not going to focus. But yeah, so that is so cool. That is cool, though, because I like that scent. But yeah, so there we go. And just as a quickie, um, my advent calendar is from a company on Amazon called Winter in Venice. I am not endorsed, affiliated, sponsored or associated with these people to do this. I just purchased it for something fun and funky to use for advent other than a chocolate calendar. Because I'm supposed to be on a diet. <laughs> supposed to be. But yeah, so there we go guys and i'm really sorry that today's vlogmas is a bit me <laughs> compared to the others but fingers crossed i will try and pick up again tomorrow so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you guys because i'm absolutely exhausted it's been a long day okay so i will see you tomorrow thanks for watching guys bye